when? Are we going to reach this point? Yo, what is going on, Senpai Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're just going to be discussing Boruto and Boruto's future as a whole because there's so many questions I just have for this series right now. This, which you saw right at the start, is the Boruto versus Kawaki fight. This was everybody's first look at the Boruto story. It was the first scene in episode one and it was the first manga panel in the chapter one. And I think it's safe to say that whether or not you hate the Boruto anime or the Boruto series in general, I think at one point everyone in the Naruto fandom looked at this opening scene and thought, this looks sick. But I think, what, two years have passed since then? And maybe even more, maybe nearly three if you include the manga, I'm not too sure, but we still haven't seemingly anyway come near to this point in the story and it doesn't take a math degree to understand that a weekly anime series and a monthly manga just isn't it, Chief. Now, I think the problem all starts right at the start of the Boruto manga. And I know that's a bit of a strange one to hear because for the most part, the Boruto manga has been absolutely exceptional. However, the problem starts right, right at the start of the manga. And that is the fact that it took... T I think this was its longest chapter so far, actually, which is just... Uh, but Boruto's longest and first chapter was 10 chapters long. That was the rehash, the redraw of the movie arc they spent 10 months nearly an entire full year of the boruto story in the manga just redoing the movie arc and for any anime release out there the, the movie arc in the manga is is still it's it's a lot more similar to the movie itself just with a slight couple changes here such as the karma seed appearing at the end of momoshiki's new design there was no jogan no Urushiki, no expanding on the fights and things so just the fact that they spent 10 months just redrawing all of that, that's where the problems began because you've built all this hype up for an essential Naruto sequel only for people to just spend the full, nearly a full year just reading what they watched just the year before. Like bear in mind the that Boruto Naruto the movie I think came out in 2015, August maybe and I think the Boruto manga released sometime in the summer of 2016 like there's only a year between them so was there any need for them to spend nearly an entire year redrawing the Boruto film in the manga I really don't think so I think it could have been done maybe one maybe two chapters just two long chapters that's how I would have done it or prepare a ton of a ton of chapters in advance before launching the series you know they did not have to do the series in 2016 they could have waited until 2017 to start it and given ikimoto and kadachi a good six months to a year to prepare a ton of chapters in advance now then some of you out there may not like this comparison but i want to talk and compare this situation to another very well known mangaka, that being Hiro Mashima. He is the creator of Fairy Tale and Understand Fairy Tale. Is far from a masterpiece when it comes to storytelling. However, that's not what I want to be focusing on. What I want to be focusing on is the fact that in the 10 months that Fairy Tale had finished, Fairy Tale had been done for 10 months before Hiro's new series started serialization. In those 10 months, Hiro Mashima didn't just sit there jacking off beating his meat to pictures of lucy or urza no he spent those 10 months preparing a ton of chapters in advance for eden zero so that it could when it launches launch as a weekly shonen so while doing all this while eden zero is coming out as a weekly shonen which he spent 10 months preparing he's also doing work on two fairy tale spin-offs which i understand he's not drawing but he still proposes the story in the original concept art so this man works like a machine it is crazy whereas like i said baruto spent 10 months just redoing the movie now, I understand that we don't really have a great idea on whose decision actually was to put the Boruto series forth as a, as a monthly series, but I'd imagine it's probably down to Shueisha. I mean, even Ikimoto said he's not too sure whose 
choice it was behind the scenes to make it a monthly series. But this this kind of worries me. The fact that Ikimoto said that whoever it is, he's thankful for their decision because Ikimoto physically would not be able to draw up a weekly series and that he struggles to even do it monthly and that us fans, us readers, aren't actually getting as much content per month as you normally would which is just like oh thanks that's not like a you know that's not just a, a kick in the balls to me thanks no I'm, I'm glad you've said that anyway back on topic clearly the series being monthly is just at least for the time being something we're just gonna have to live with now then i tweeted out a few days ago that this is gonna be for a future video how long do you guys see the Boruto story lasting? And, and specifically the manga, not, not the anime. Because the anime literally could just pull the filler out of its arse and it could last for 50 years. I could be dead before the anime actually ends. But I just wanted to see, get a quick idea of what people are saying. So, for a start, it, it, there's no chance in hell it can last for 700 chapters like Naruto. Purely for the fact that I think, what? Ikamoto would be 99 years old by that point so that's a no-go it's not being that long so let's have a look because the manga is monthly i think its story isn't going to go on for so long or it will become weekly because anime isn't sing isn't seasonal which really it should have been it should if the, if the manga is going to stay monthly they really should have made the anime a seasonal thing because it just it's just not going to work otherwise so eight to ten years Eight to ten years, uh, I think you'll see, is going to be a bit of a, a common theme. So there is eight to ten years. Here's another one. It all depends on popularity and sales. Admittedly, yeah, we're not really taking that into consideration for this video purely because that anything could happen with that. So, so story off alone, I'd say five years. They reveal Kawaki too early in the story. We know Boruto and Kawaki will hate each other and then become friends, and then Kawaki will turn evil. Yeah, that that is true. Also. This is something which, I don't know how much it would affect things, but that thing we see right at the start between Teenage Kawaki and Teenage Boruto, that was actually a last minute thing, an idea from Kishimoto to actually implement that into the story. Because of that, I just want to say a quick well done to Ikimoto, because considering that was a last minute design for Teenage Boruto, it was absolutely just incredible. I love that design so much, so yeah. Round of applause to Ikimoto for that, but it does make me question it because if that wasn't going to be introduced into the story at the beginning, then like what was their original route to take? I'm not too sure. I don't know how much that actually affects things, but here we have 15 years. Now, this is a bit of an interesting one. I'm not too sure, but we'll get into that. Let's see. Another one. 15 years, 10 years, 8 years, time skip. Yeah, that I I'm going to get onto this in a second, but 15 years, 8 years... 15 years, another one, 8 years, 8 to 10 years. I think it's safe to say that the average amount of years is about 8 to 10 is what people is what people reckon. Now, 8 to 10 years is around 120 give or take chapters, including what we already have. I think that'd be if it was 8 years, so between 120 and 130 chapters, including what we've already got. That, that is just, for perspective, in Naruto, chapter 123, so those 120 to 130 chapters, in perspective, in Naruto, that would only be the Orochimaru versus Hiruzen fight. Yes, that is absolutely crazy. Insane, that is to me. The fact that after 10 years of Boruto, we could be at a point... Just, whereas if it was Naruto, it would only be the Hiruzen versus Orochimaru fight. That, to me, just, it blows my mind, considering in Boruto, we still got so much to explore. For example, we've got Kara, Kawaki, Kama, the Jogan, the Otsutsuki clan. We have a time skip still to do. There's so much, plus... You know, if they want to do this right, which is something they haven't done a great deal in the Boruto manga at the minute, is expanding on side characters. One of the biggest flaws in Naruto, not necessarily part one, I think part one did a really good job, but the latter parts of Shippuden especially, the side characters just got forgotten. Like, can you name me anything really in the latter parts of Shippuden that Rock Lee, Kiba, Shino, what any of them did? 
Shikamaru and Garo are probably one of the only ones to get some good love. So Boruto, don't make the same mistakes. Learn from your predecessors, and at the minute they're not. So if they want to do all expand on all of that and do it well, that to me is at least what maybe like 500 chapters. I I, I really don't know. And if the Boruto manga stays monthly and it does need to reach 500 chapters to tell the full story, that is around about 40 years. Kodachi Ikimoto, they would be in their 80s by this point. In their 80s. It's, it's not going to work. It just is not going to work. Now, there's a ton of things that could can, can change this. And that's just... All of that I just mentioned about Karakawaki Kama, etc, etc. Just isn't going to get expanded on into a great ton of detail. And the Boruto manga will stay monthly and it will last for about 8 years. And it will end around chapter 120, 130, 140. If that's a possible outcome, we don't know. The anime could overtake the manga. But I think if that was going to be the case, that would have been done already after the Momoshiki arc. So I think that's starting to look very, very unlikely. And I think the one that we just all want is for the Boruto manga to just become a weekly series. I think all of us want that and it would just fix all the problems and there's a ton of ways they could have done this. Like I said, they could have just pre prepared a ton of chapters in advance before jump-starting the series. They could get a larger team working on this. Ikimoto is the only illustrator right now. Get a full art division working on this so that the art can be done much much quicker i know i would sacrifice a little bit of less detail in art if it meant we could get it weekly maybe that's just me but and the other the other thing basically it just needs to become a weekly manga i think i think that's the best way and I, I hopefully we might get some sort of announcement maybe at jump fest of 2019 because i believe boruto is a main panel at that event so we might get some interesting news at that point but until then it's all up it's all up in the air right now we have no idea what's gonna happen and i just really really hoping it becomes a manga a weekly manga and honestly i'm not too sure what the actual point of this video actually was but i do want to pass it on to you guys anything i've brought up in this video i want your opinion on it i want to know what you guys think of everything i've said in this video what you think they should have done at the start if you think they did the right thing taking nearly a year to read up the movie or if they need more artists or if the anime should overtake how long you think it's gonna go on for that's a big one how long do you think the series is gonna last personally for me if it stays monthly like i said if i want to actually go into good detail of everything it's gonna be like 40 years and 500 chapters but that is not happening whatsoever so I, I agree with everyone else between 8 to 10 years, but that's not a lot of chapters. That's just over 100 chapters, which is not enough at all. Not at all is that enough. So I want to ask you guys what your opinion on everything is. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not ready to become a member of the Senpai Squad. And I will see you guys in another video. This was a little bit different to usual and maybe it came across as a bit of a rant. If that's the case, I do apologize. Don't get too angry. Yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in another video. But until then, peace. Please become weekly.